Greetings Earthlings! Today, I'm gonna walk you through creating a map for the Holy Grail War. So my first step actually is going to be pulling up Microsoft Paint. I always like to get a general layout, so the map that I want to make, the concept I have in my head, is like a smaller map that's like specifically tailored for, you know, 2v2 or uh, 1v1s even. The castle map was intended to be essentially that, but it, it's a little too windy and mazy sometimes. It can get really hard to find people. So my concept is a haunted forest with about 50 by 50 blocks and just really easy to find everyone. Okay, so how am I going to lay this out? I think I'm going to do kind of a circle. Yeah, we gotta have a little a little spooky house, you know? Nothing too big, nothing too massive, just a nice haunted mansion. That you can just go in, get some loot. Not not mazy at all, not mazy at all. Alright, so we're of course we're gonna have a bunch of trees around everywhere. It's a haunted forest. So I wanna have a spooky house. For I, I gotta have like a mushroom area. And then I feel like the third it should be a fairly circular map. It's like the central location in it should be like the heart of the woods, like this uh, this abandoned well. Uh, maybe like a river? River? I like a river. There we go. River Island. Um, river. We'll just call it River Island. That's fine. It'll have like a little hill over here. We'll put a little... Yeah, there's a hill over there. It's natural. Oh, a cave. There we go. Haunted cave. Uh, we don't want to get too cavey with it. We can have like a loot cave, I like that. You gotta have like a big tree that you can go inside of, there we go. Camps, oh campsite, there we go. Probably have a bridge going to the big tree that's like more natural and gnarly. And then we'll have like a bridge coming over here that's like rickety and haunted, okay. All right, <clears throat> so now I save this, there we go, okay. <clears throat> now we go to Minecraft. Oh, there we go, okay, I need to right click. Oh, diameter of 50 should be a radius of 50, right? So it should be like 100. Yeah, that looks way better. Way better. First, let's set the biome to, to a spooky type biome. Let's go like, uh, now we're in the warp forest. There we go. Okay. Elevation, load height map. Here we go, forest map. Cool, okay. This looks like a perfect river island over here, so we'll just do a river right through here. Oh, probably turn down the radius. Okay, little river right through here. So I've got some elevation. It's looking pretty good. How does it look from the ground? Is it too small? Too big? That looks pretty good, actually. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. Alright, so then this river island is over here. Mushroom area will be right up here. Uh, cave's gonna go up here. Uh, so we'll put some higher terrain so we can drop a cave in there. Uh, we'll clean that up. Okay, spooky house, here we go. Let's flatten this down. So that's the spooky house. We've got a campsite. We have a campsite kind of up on this hill ish. So we'll just put a couple tents, so we'll mark that out with wool for now. And the abandoned well in the middle will be kind of off-center, just a little bit off-center. Uh, we'll put a stone disc. Alright, let's see how fast I can chew through these all. We're going to start off with the river island. That should be pretty easy to build. We're just going to go into creative mode. The river island we really want up here. Maybe if we get the river in, it'll make me think better. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Okay. Okay, much better. Alright. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Now you can fill in the river without fear of proclamation. That's nice. Okay, so now we have our little treasure island island. Uh, um, we can just put a tree on there. Let's just put a tree. I like that. Just a little tree. Just a couple little trees. I like how it looks inverted there. Okay. Yes, a little bit bigger. Maybe. No, we want to override radius, make it thicker down at the bottom. There we go. 
window. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Enter. Okay. Let me do a path coming off of here. Uh, radius of zero. Turn off override radius. Another branch coming out. Boom. Easy. Okay, now we just gotta do the tree part of the tree. And make this. Looks good. We put one here. Make this one hollow. And that should work out a lot. There we go. Alright, that's it's not, not the best looking tree I've ever <clears throat> No, that probably is the best looking tree I've, I've ever made. Who am I kidding? Uh, it doesn't look very good though. Uh, it needs to be noisier, I think, is the problem. So we need to dis uh, roughen. Here we go. No, that's it's kind of cool. I like that. We'll go with it. Overruled or overcooled? <laughs> All right. So here's what I'm thinking. We have like some little shrubbery around. So let's just do some shrubbery. Uh, I think we need something to block this line of sight here just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Tiny little bit of blocking. So we, start, we start from down here, go up to here, and drag it down. There we go. That's how we do it. Nice. Okay. What if we put like a rotting log over here? Let's do a rotting log. I like that. Maybe it's like a root. Now the next thing to do, we're doing this piece by piece. Okay, so it's still a little flat back here. Flat, not in terms of elevation, it's actually pretty elevated, but just like there's nothing here. So I feel like we need some decorative blocks. I feel like we can just get away with just like putting some shrubs, and dead bushes, ferns, short grass, tall grass, no flowers. Let me break that off. There we go. Okay, that's it. That's it. Alright, we got it. Uh, if we put a large fern back here, like a little bit of short grass. No, that, that looks way too welcoming and inviting. Uh, what if we put more dead bushes? Oh, there we go. Okay. I want it to look dark and foreboding. Maybe I put like an old lamppost with like a soul lantern hanging off of it. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, like, I'm picking up what, I, what you're putting down, me. Yeah, me too, me. Thanks, me. You're a good guy, me. Uh, I do like the idea. I don't like the execution all that much. Maybe instead we do a catenary of some kind of fence. Maybe like a nether brick fence. Okay. Let me hang a soul lantern off of that. Okay, that's way better. That's way better. Maybe we do like a painting of path blocks. Painter, um, path blocks. There we go. Do like a path with like a radius of one or so. There we go. Just coming up here. One a little bit more slack in it. Okay. Then we can just clone that. Then we do, there we go, kind of rickety bridge, I like that, okay. Okay, there we go, okay, and we have a little bridge. Uh, could use a little bit touching up, you can touch it up. Okay, how does how's this area looking all together? This, wow, that path just really tied it together, dang. <laughs> oh man, maybe I feel like a signpost to I was thinking of something really funny while I was building this path here. A really funny joke. The path. Oh, logical. There we go. I like blue is blue team will spawn here. Perfect. Okay. And we can start putting down chests. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay. Island uh, would be residential. We'll go. No, we'll go residential for the island. We'll go with that and stick with it. Stick to our guns. Residential is the main for the island. Okay. Residential stuff. Alright, well, 
there we have it. That's probably long enough to be a video on its own. Dang. That was fun. I had fun building that. Spooky, spooky island. I built a spooky island in Minecraft for the Fatal Egg Grail War. Pretty cool, huh? I don't need to be able to craft stuff. <laughs> Alright, there we go, blue team's side is done. Okay, let's move on to the big tree. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, now that, that's gotta be the best tree I've ever built, right? Can't, well you could get a lot better than this, but I, I can't yet. Wow, that's, that's an exciting stage to be at, where everything you build is the best thing you've built yet, you know? <laughs> okay, so there is an interior to this, so if we just, yeah, if we break a hole in here, this is like elves live here. Dude, what if we put bookshelves like in the tree? That's cool. That's 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 cool. Alright, well, there we have it. Big tree is I'm gonna call it done. Mushroom area is going to be probably pretty quick. There we go, that's it, that's it, okay. It's not, it doesn't look quite as haunted as I'd like. Uh, that, I think that's mostly due to the blue sky there. <laughs> Probably also use like some leaves hanging down, honestly. That does look better. Okay, so that was just a tree. <laughs> Let's see the uh, abandoned well real quick. That that's gonna be fun. Okay. Okay, as well, let's put another tree over here, I think.
maybe I can put one like at the entrance of the cave. But it's cave time! like a pretty well fleshed out area to me. Maybe we, we have the mush area. We have the big tree. We have the river island. So all we have left is this campsite and the spooky house. I think we'll make the campsites first because that's going to be, this is going to be real fun. And there we have it. Fully functional Minecraft Holy Grail War map. Expect to see a lot of playtests coming. I have all the servants done, and I have the map ready. If you want to be part of some of those tests, go ahead and join my public Discord server, link in the description. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Magisteer, Deekseat.